What is up guys, Ultimate Debate, back today with a video I'm actually pretty excited about. I just wanted to show you guys something real cool. If you have an Apple TV, um, maybe you're like curious or you're wondering, can I do screenshots? Can I screen record? If so, how can I do that? And so today I just want to show real quick uh, proof first and then I'll go into the actual recording of the screen and what you need to do that. So a little proof right here, this is the home screen. Um, we'll do the Siri function. Bring up the ESPN app. But this is actually the, the Apple TV home screen. Real quick, let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how to do it on the Mac side. I have a MacBook Pro. I'm gonna show you um, how to do that now. All you have to do is you have to plug in to the back of the Apple TV. There is a USB-C, USB Type-C port. Um, so you just plug in a cable to that and then USB into your MacBook. And what shows up is, first off, it'll show this. It'll show what software it is. Um, if you want to restore it, you can from here. If you want to eject it, I guess you can. Um, I don't want to do either of those. So that's that's cool, I guess. Um, I hope they add more to that. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about. So for the actual screen record, all you need to do is go to QuickTime Player. And then when it pulls up the app right here, you just hit New Movie Recording. And then when you do Movie, it's going to be on FaceTime probably. Just click Apple TV and then whatever microphone you want. Don't choose Apple TV because obviously it won't show anything. Um, and then there you go. So then you can do whatever you need on your Apple TV and it'll record it right off. So maybe you're, you're getting into gaming. Um, maybe you have a gaming channel and you're just wanting to showcase some Apple TV games, an app, whatever it is. Um, this way it's pretty cool, pretty cheap way to, um, well, other than the devices. It's cheap for the USB-C cable, I think mine was like $5, and that way you can showcase any games, apps, whatever you need um, super easily. I mean, literally, I plugged it right in, no problems, nothing. I want to show you how to screenshot also. Um, it's a little bit more difficult, actually it's very difficult, not really ideal, um, really it's just for demonstration purposes, but what you need is Xcode, the app, um, you can get it on the App Store, it's made by Apple. So it's, it's free. You get it and you open the app. There we go. And when you're in the app, it'll say Xcode. You go over here to window, devices, and then select Apple TV. It'll show all the specs right here. And then you device logs and take screenshot. So you take the screenshot and then let's go ahead and hide this. That way we have a clear view of the desktop. And right here you can see we have the screenshot on screenshot we just took. So then from there you can message it, email, airdrop, whatever, or you can save it on to blah, blah, blah. And there you go, you have a screenshot. Um, so like I said, not really ideal, not really cool that you have to have a, um, an extra app. It's not third party, luckily, but you have to have an extra app to do it. It's a little bit cumbersome. And also it has to be connected directly to a computer. I wish they would implement some kind of like two button press at the same time to take a screenshot, maybe send it to your phone or device or to your iCloud library, photo library. It'd be nice to see something like that instead of this, just because it's so much more work and you never know when you might want to actually see something like a screenshot or take a screenshot on your Apple TV. I really hope this helped guys. I'm going to have a review pretty soon of the new Apple TV remote. So we have the old one that was super janky and the new one. So I'm going to see what the difference is, um, what makes it better, what makes it more efficient, blah, blah, blah. And so yeah, be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, you should because we have a giveaway at 100 subscribers. So once you just, just subscribe and be on the lookout for that. It mean a lot to me. You can follow me on Twitter at Ultimate Debate. Um, occasionally, I'll do a Twitch stream. And it's also at Ultimate Debate. You can follow me on Instagram at Ultimate Debate. And go to my website, UltimateDebateReviews.com for more. I would totally love it if you did. It'd be super great. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.